Hello everyone, this is Venus Brown. I'm going to be reacting to Season 5, Episode 2 of Handmaid's Tale. Now our last episode, we got to see pretty much where we left off, what had happened, some of the people that were involved with Fred's death, and we got to see the, the consequences and how she is trying to process it and just is really too far off the edge. Appear to be getting ready to take a shower or bath or something, yet turn the water off after having one of her crazy spells and then going pick her daughter up again with blood all over her. We saw her leaving DNA all over the place, so even if she wanted to try to hide what happened or, or anything like that, she wouldn't have been able to because her DNA was everywhere. We saw June's loved ones try to figure out how to handle everything that was happening and how to deal with the state that June is in and the mess that June has made. And we also got to hear how Emily is being written out of the show, which made me very sad initially, but I think it's an appropriate step for her, which was to go back to Gilead, to fight the good fight in Gilead, try to find Aunt Lydia, because, because Emily's got her own demons that she's got to work out, and I think that's going to be the best way for her to get out some of the frustration and anger and and just awful feelings that she has. And I don't think the things that they can do in Canada are really going to do it for her. It's time to get on with the show. Let's see what episode two has for us. And that was crazy. That was so crazy. She was just let go. And the episode is called Ballet. I have no idea what that might mean. Is she going to try to, like, commit a crime in Canada so that she'll get locked up? Oh, she got her way. And I found out what that is. Um, if you're a prisoner, Ready you go to a funeral. It's furlough. And then I guess in some places it's just called an absence. Of course, I'll be by your side every step of the way. Just like you protected Fred. Now we roll out the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to bring Fred home where he belongs. It's beautiful We've that the two of them were like so involved in his My death. My for your loss, Mrs. Waterford. All the fake smiles. I'd like to see the church that you've selected for Fred's service, if it's not too much trouble. Well, has to be in control. Dad. There's no way that she could have gotten to Fred on her own. They're right there. They're all right there. Could you imagine what the other commanders would do if they knew that you would help the handmaid kill her commander? Bold accusation. Yeah, the trailers definitely showed what looked like a very large funeral procession, so I didn't Even think this the was gonna be of Commander Waterford's be it. Death. It wasn't in stupid ring. <laughs> You're gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> Do you think if the Putnams choose Esther that maybe I can visit her? I really don't Honey, know why she keeps playing. Don't get ahead of yourself. <sighs> Not Good Janine. Buddy. Yeah. Aunt Lydia. All right. Aunt Lydia should know exactly what she's doing, and she is playing a very dangerous game, knowing the past that she has, that Janine has with the Putnams. She's like, she should friggin' know better than even attempting any kind of connection like that with them. The council believes that their current plan for the funeral is more than adequate. You didn't ask, did you? We both know how it works here. A woman's word never trumps a man. There seems to be a lingering feeling that for all Fred's admirable qualities, he was uh, somewhat of a traitor. 
That's the day. That's so. she gonna do she is up to something i call it twister <laughs> stop playing all those board games with fred i think tuello should use this opportunity to spy on people get whatever information he can i'm just grateful to be an instrument in his plan Well, you are a marvel, Mrs. Waterford. Mrs. Potnoff. Not Lydia Please. at a loss for words. Angela, sweetie. Hi. 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 Can I give you a hug? Okay. You have a beautiful daughter, Mrs. Potnoff. I thank God for her every day. And you should be thanking her, and you should all be fucking sent to fucking prison for doing that shit to those girls. This is a bad idea. Aunt Lydia knows that she had a freaking history with men. You too, Aunt Lydia. Abusing her. I'm sorry. And she knows the fucking shit that that guy did with Janine. You don't have to be scared. Yes, she does. God, these fools. <sighs> You're all right? No. Oh. Nobody's all right. Um. In this show, everybody is not all right. It's Fred's finger. <laughs> Tell you, she needs some yeah. serious therapy. Because I wanted her to know. I think we need to make Fred's funeral an international event broadcast across the globe. Mrs. Waterford, the uh, stress you've been under would unmoor anyone. Let's not be hasty, Warren. Doesn't hurt to hear all the details. I've watched you gentlemen squander one opportunity after another. You could have led to more prosperity. The public mourning of one of our peers is an opportunity we cannot waste. See? She knows how to manipulate. Do you really think being pregnant is going to protect me? It's her only protection. The worst they can do is say no. The worst they can do is say yes and give her a big ass funeral. Can you get a cigarette? Broadcast it internationally and make Gilead look like something great. I got them to say yes. How? By not being a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Please make this a very Nicole, productive talk. She's well cared for. Would you like to see your daughter in person rather than asking about her? America can be a very forgiving place. If you make amends. Please, 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 please. Please agree to it. Please. I remember that. Don't get caught, Nick. Don't get fucking caught. Oh, these images with the windows, with the blinding light coming in. I think those were the clothes that June was wearing. On the trailer when they saw all the images of freaking Serena. It must be hard. I have a really, 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 really seeing your daughter. Really bad feeling. Having to leave her behind. I really didn't like you whenever we first met. <laughs> <laughs> we know. No, you lied to me. You used me. Like Aunt Lydia. She poisoned him. Wouldn't that be great 
if they slipped and that freaking casket fell. Not open, just fell. And these are all the little girls that are about ready to be fucking pimped out to every old man in that goddamn kingdom. And that's Hannah. What do you think the chances are of having a second date? <laughs> oh, back off. Excellent. You know, she can masterfully wrap people around her finger. Did they just see Hannah? gonna hit them right in their fucking heart. Oh my god. Checkmate. That was an awesome episode and a devastating episode with all the death, destruction, high tension and drama. And Serena definitely made very calculated move. Very, very painful move. I'm not going to say a lot, but holy cow, that was intense. I really hope that somehow Janine lives. I think Esther was, she was very severely traumatized. She had been sexually assaulted so many freaking times. And then to freaking leave her, that just threw her right over the edge. And I don't see that there's any way she would be able to live as a handmaid. So, I am okay if she dies. I am not so okay if Janine dies. See what the next one has to offer. Bye, everyone.